everybody. My name is William Bibiani, and I'm reporting here from the Simpsons Ultimate Fan Challenge kickoff, where dozens upon dozens of Simpsons fans are going to attempt to beat the world record for longest consecutive TV watching with all 500 episodes of The Simpsons, in honor of The Simpsons' 500th episode airing this February. We're going to be talking to Nancy Cartwright, the voice of Bart Simpson, Nelson Muntz, Ralph Wiggum, and all the other kids you love. We're going to be talking to Yardley Smith, the voice of Lisa Simpson. We're going to be talking with some of the contestants, and we're going to be testing them on their Simpsons trivia to see if they can be smarter than I am. Uh, I doubt it. How long have you been on The Simpsons? How many episodes specifically have you worked on? Uh, I think I've got a credit on about 450. I was there at the beginning of the series yeah. when uh, they were hiring writers to say, like, take these short episodes that Matt did on the Tracy Ullman show and let's all turn them into a half hour. So have you been Lisa Simpson since the Tracy Ullman show? Yes, I have. Now, what was the experience like when you when you first auditioned for that? I ran in to read for Bart because they always have women do the voices of young boys because their voices don't change. Yeah. That lasted about seven seconds. They said, you sound much too much like a girl. How about Lisa? They showed me a picture of her. It told me she was eight. I'd never done voiceover before. I'm like, eight. Well, that must mean that she sounds younger than me, because I already sound so young. And, uh, I was going to be playing my younger sister, Lisa Simpson, but I saw the, the little monologue of Lisa, and it said eight-year-old middle child, and then right next to it was Bart, and it said a school-hating underachiever and proud of it, and I'm like, whoa, that is the guy. I'm doing him. He's the man, man. <laughs> Ow! Quit it! Ow! Quit it! At what point do you expect to crash out on this? At what point in the series? What episode? Um, I don't expect to crash out at all. But I laugh like Lisa Simpson. Totally. It, so when I laugh in a restaurant, everybody goes, what the what? Who is that? That has to be Lisa Simpson. You don't laugh like Bart Simpson. No, I don't. Is there any celebrity you always wanted to get but never could wrangle? Yeah, we never got a U.S. president, so we finally did a show about Teddy Roosevelt and used his voice. So we got a good president. Now, how long have you been watching Simpsons? Um, ever since I was born. Oh, wow. Like, during childbirth, they had it on? They probably did. 1989, it was the beginning. <laughs> that's, that's, holy crap, wow, you've been preparing for this your whole life. Yeah. You go to Rio to track down Ronaldo. Yes. And at the end, Ronaldo says he couldn't write you back uh, because he didn't know what state you lived in. And you said that if you follow the clues, you can find out. Oh, that's just a writer's f***ing <laughs> with your head. Are we there yet? 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 Who's your favorite character to, to write and work on? I love writing for Lisa. I wasn't cool like Bart growing up. I was a little nerdier, so Lisa really like captures the way I think. Yeah. How long have you been prepping for this? Um, I would probably say my entire, my entire life. You know, I've yeah. always been a Simpsons fan. Um, I've always loved the show, and I think this is a cool opportunity to do and try. Yeah. What is your favorite Simpsons quote that anyone's ever quoted back to? Well, one that's good by Jen Schwartz. Well, there was beer, the cause of, and solution to all of oh, life's wait. problems. Yep. Can we, we have a pool, Dad? Can we, we have, have a pool, Dad? Can we have a pool, Dad? Can we have a pool, Dad? We did, did we get the pool? You got the pool. Yeah, we got the pool. Yeah, the Simpsons cat is named Snowball 2. Yes. What happened to Snowball 1 as we learned in the Treehouse of Horror segment, Dial Z for Zombie? Um, no. Oh. I only remember the poem. I had a cat named Snowball. She died. <laughs> she, died. She, she died. died. Mom said she was sleeping. She, she lied. lied. She, she lied. lied. <laughs> why, why is my cat dead? Why couldn't it be me instead? <laughs> That's all I got for you. All right. Cletus Delroy Spuckler, the slack-jawed yokel, has 45 kids. Can you name five of them? No. What is the city motto for Springfield? Is it a noble spirit and biggins a man? No, no, that was Jebediah Springfield's motto. Oh. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> there are no good wars with the following three exceptions. What were those wars? Because of what we've done. No? Are you kidding me? I am, actually. <laughs> You're wonderful. we got to go. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Yeah. thank you. It was the American Revolution, World War II, and the original Star Wars trilogy. They bombed! All of them! Bombed. I am so smart. I am so smart. SMRT. I mean, SMART. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with more of your favorite entertainment coverage here at Crave Online.